What is happening? It's JMO. And at long last, we have our May submission back from PSA. We sent this off for the May special for $14.99 or whatever it was, $15.49, something like that. We sent off a couple of cheap cards. I think the value was like $200 max or something like that. We're going to see how we did. We didn't get any upcharges, so we couldn't have done that great, right? But hopefully we have some nice gems. If we can get 50%, I'll be very happy. We got some personal collection cards in here. We got some cards I want to move as well. Um, sent off some base Wimby stuff, just a nickel and dime. I know normally people don't send off the base, but you can get hit stuff for about maybe 50 bucks if I'm lucky. We'll see. So we're going to get these cards out, and we're going to see what our luck is like today. We got some fun stuff in here. Nothing crazy. But it'll be fun nonetheless. So we're gonna get right into it. We got some select right off top. I don't know if these are gonna be any of the parallels or if it's the base. Hopefully it's the base up top. And we'll see how we do, guys. So wish me some luck. Let's hope we did somewhat decent. I'm trying to get a little bit better about looking at these cards, but man, it's just tough these days. They're really, really challenging. So here we go. Let's get this off to the side. Bring it on over here. Here we go. Uh, and there we go. Our first 10 of the show. We do have a little. Oh, hopefully it's just on the case. We'll see if I can get that off or not. I don't know if this is the new cases or not. I know they had some issues with some of them, but we got our first 10. Then we got five of these. Sent off. Let's see if we can get four 10s. Uh, another 10. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Next up. Three tens. All right, we are off to a very good start here, guys. Uh, four tens. There we go. There we go. And okay, so I thought maybe I only sent four. I thought I sent five. Maybe I only sent four. All right, we got Mr. Derek Lively. He's very, very coveted out here in Dallas. Centering looked pretty decent. I don't know about the back right there. I can't tell if that's on the card or not. Let's see how we did. Uh, oh, an eight. So not too good on that one right there. Definitely didn't eyeball that. Look at that, some damage down there at the bottom, and I don't remember seeing that. I can't tell if that's on the plastic or the car. I think it's on the plastic. So I'm not too sure why this got an 8. There's definitely some fuzzies up top, so maybe it's not the cleanest of cards. Maybe there's some surface issues I couldn't really see. So we got an 8 on the Lively. So we'll put that over here. Tins can go, of course, right there. All right. Next up, we got a Parallel. 79 of 99 of Shea. I think this is a purple cracked ice. Let's see how we did. Uh, here we go. We got a 10. Very, very nice. These are all cards I'm moving right here on this side over here. So that's a very good sign. Oh, is this another base? Let's hope it's our, our fifth base. And let's hope it's another 10. Let's see. Uh, it's the orange and we got a 10. Beautiful. We got the 10 on the orange parallel. This is... One of the few parallels I pulled a Wimby this year, and it got a 10 right to the PC, baby. A little bit of a color match with the Fiesta uh, design there. City, whatever you want to call it. That's very dope. Super happy to get that in a 10. Let's go, baby. The 10 stack is getting pretty thick. Let's hope we can keep it up. This one I'm not too sure of. This came out of, I think, uh, Certified. Or, yeah. Or no. This is illusions, maybe. And they can be kind of tough. Let's see how we did. Kobe White. And it is a 10. Beautiful. Number to 99. Kobe White autograph. I pulled this myself. Had it sitting in the deck for a long time. Decided to pull it out and get it graded. See how we did. He came alive a little bit last year. Another 10, baby. Let's get it. All right. Oh, this card's got a fun story. So this is a silver of Kate Cunningham. Now. I didn't pull this card in particular. I pulled a silver Cade Cunningham out of a fat pack. And it was the year that they did those uh, those fat packs that, like, it was supposed to be the hanger packs. But they were in boxes. They were in packs instead. And I got an entire back, uh, pack with the corner just lifted up and bent. And so I sent it off for a replacement. I wondered if I ever get it back. It took about a year, but I did get one back. Let's see how clean it was, guys. And it was a 10 that's what we're talking about. We are on a roll with the gym rates. Now comes to some of the important stuff. We got some more parallels of Wimby. Who knows how these are going to do. I just sent them off just to say what the heck. I don't even know how closely I looked at these, but these should be fun. First up, 
I think we got one of our cracked ice, possibly. Maybe the red cracked ice. What do we got here? <laughs> it's a red tin. There we go, baby. <laughs> I got little dusties everywhere, but I don't care. I can get them off easy with a little blow. We're seeing lots of gems today. Very, very nice. All right. We got another one. Pulled this red out of select. Might be slightly off center, but looks pretty clean. So I said, why not? Let's see what we can do. See if we can get lucky. Uh, another 10. This is fantastic, guys. I haven't had this good of a gym rate in a very long time. Of course, it can go south in a quick, fast hurry. So let's not get too excited. Let's hope we can keep this momentum up. Another Wimby 10. Man, we got Wimby 10s galore. All right. A little bit of football sprinkled in here. Uh, I think this is just a purple. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, purple. The orange uh, from the hanger packs, the uh, disco that come out of there. Rashawn Johnson. Let's see how we did. We got a nine. Our first nine of the day is for football. Rashawn Johnson. I was hoping I get a 10 on that so I can move it pretty quickly when football season starts. Maybe that'll just go into my boy's PC. He's a big time Bears fan. He don't have a whole lot of slabs. So maybe I'll just donate that one to him. We'll see. It's been a good showing so far. This one right here is pretty fun because it's a Jordan Walsh and it's a color match green. Um, he didn't get very much playing time his rookie season, but I think there's a lot of potential in this guy. He can definitely be one of those glue guys, play some good defense and stuff like that. Let's see what he can do. Uh, and we got a 10. That is a beautiful car. Look at that. Not a huge Celtics fan, but God dang it, that green on green does not look spectacular. Beautiful. All right, guys. We are on a roll. Let's see if we can get some other ones. We got a select, I think this is a purple flash, so a little jersey match action. Jalen Hood Shafino, number to 175. Can't remember when I pulled this out of, I guess maybe a blaster. It's a nine. We got our second nine, guys. I thought this looked pretty dang clean. Could be centering, could be a, maybe a surface issue I didn't catch with all the damn flash design on it. Who knows, but still a very, very nice looking car. That thing pops. Look at that. That's beautiful. Woo wee. Okay. So second nine. Next up, this is fun. I only got two Bowman Mega Boxes this year just to rip and have a lot of fun or a little fun. And I pulled a pretty dope autograph. Now, the unfortunate thing is when you pull the Mega Box autographs, they do not have the first logo, even though it is technically one of their first Bowmans. So let's see how we did. Uh, we got a 10. It's number to 150, guys. It's a blue mojo out of the mega box of course we are missing that first icon up there but god dang look at that beautiful card we are hitting big time today guys another 10 let's go okay we got another select parallel from basketball i believe this is also a flash this is a blue flash number to 99 keontae george slightly off centered on the back could be also on the front let's see how he did it's another nine. So we're digging some nines on our numbered cards for select, but that's okay because we did very well with most of our Wimby stuff. I think we got one or two more Wimbies that we can hit on. Let's see how we do, guys. I'm pretty excited. One of them is going to be a bigger one. Not too big, though. I don't think I have anything numbered for Wimby just yet this year, guys, but it should be fun. Let's let's do this one first. Let's do this one first. I can't remember. This is just another blue. It might be our fifth blue. Let's see if we got a 10. <laughs> We did. So we went five for five on our Wimby base cards. That is beautiful, guys. Talk about nickel and dime in your ROI right there. I'm not sure what these are going for, but I can guarantee you I can make a little penny on these bad boys. So that's pretty sweet, man. Like to see that right there. Base Wimbies knocked it out the park. Okay. That gem stack is super high. This is definitely my best gem rate in probably two years. All right. Let's see what we got left. I'm going to save that one for last because that's going to be my favorite card to look at. All right. We sent off, I think, just a base Ellie De La Cruz. He's, of course, the hot man on the show. I said, oh, let's send off one of our base. I think it's one of my cleanest ones to see if I get a 10 on it. And we did not. We got a 9. Damn. We was hoping to get a 10 on it. That would definitely help you get your ROI on that a lot better. But that's okay. He's highly collectible. I'll get my money back for that slab real fast. No problem on that. All right. So we got four nines and one eight with two cards to go. Can we make it to where we getting 15 tens in this? Is it possible? That shit would be cool. 
our next card up is a baseball again. We've got Will Benson. This is just a base autograph, but I thought it looked pretty clean, so I said, let's go ahead and send it off. But now I am seeing something on this corner down here that I don't remember being there before. Is that on the sleeve? I don't know. This could not... Oh, man, both of these corners are not looking as clean as they looked before. Uh, sometimes I wonder about their scanner, guys. When they're scanning the documents, are they using an actual card scanner where it goes through a feeder and it's scraping and... Oh, man. All right. I'm anticipating an 8 on this now. Oh, it's a 9. Okay. What's well, a 9? We won't complain. I thought it was about to be an 8 because the back was starting to look a little suspect, but we'll take it because the centering is absolutely perfect. Great little auto right there as well. Like seeing that. So, nice little Will Benson autograph. Hopefully, we can move that little 9 real fast for a cheap little dollar. All right. And our last card, my favorite card of this showing will probably be... Uh, maybe one of my favorite cards. Maybe that uh, that cracked ice one is probably one of my favorites. But this one is the red, white, and blue tie dye or tricolor. I'm sorry, tricolor from the premier level. Let's see if we can get one last ten on the Wimbies. Get all ten Wimbies. Uh, oh my goodness gracious, guys! What can you say right there? We went absolutely perfect on our Wimbies. Ten for ten. I am ecstatic. I did not expect that at all. Let's make sure. Yes, I am not deceiving myself. We hit five PSA nines. We hit one eight, and the rest are tens with many, many Wimby tens. Oh, man, this is exciting. We got this one. We got five of those base right there. What else we got? We got the Rookie Revolution. We got the Red Crack Dice. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm excited. This is tens galore for Wimby. That's what we wanted to see, guys. That's what we wanted to see. Plus all those right there. Another stack. Beautiful. Well, there you go. One of my best showings in a while. As far as PSA returns, that is for sure. Let's hope the next one comes back even better. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.